second, we got Kendra on vault for WVU. Front, front, Pike, and she stuck it. That is the best vault I have ever seen her do. That is gonna be a huge score. Came in with power too. <laughs> she had the power and I thought. Great vault for Rachel. Perfect landing, that was the best. Time in three days. Huge vault. Hop back on that landing, but we're run off by handspring double tuck. We got Anna Lee on bars here. Pike Dieger. Beautiful Hanson on high bar. Into a nice pack. Career best 985 last time for Anna Lee. Another perfect handstand. It's exactly what the judges are looking for. And a stuck double layout dismount. I think she stuck it. There was someone standing in front of her. But from the excitement of the team, it looked like she it, stuck it. It looked like it from my <laughs> angle as well. Back over to the floor for William and Mary. Ending with a double pike. Beautiful landing. Very happy with her bar routine for West Virginia. Another look at. Oh, now we're gonna see that dismount. Perfect handstand. In the third spot for West Virginia. Kendra Combs on bars now. Speaking of confidence, she's gotta have a ton after that 985 vault. Yep. Perfect handstand into that Shapash, right down into that pack. Talked about how powerful Kendra is, but she can also swing. She does it all. Blindfold into a stuck double tuck dismount. Hopefully another big score because that was pretty flawless. We got Deja Chambles on beam right now. 9-5-5, the leadoff score for GW from Annalise Silverman. Yes, they do. Hopefully this is one of those nights where they do it well. We got Agatha leading us off. Agatha Hendono coming off a 9.875 on Saturday. Career best. Nice handspring layout stuck step out. Super solid. Over on floor, first pass, round off one and a half, front layout, right into that stag jump, nice control. Beautiful full turn on beam for Agatha. Nice front toss into that beat jump, over on vault. We got a Yurchenko layout. Nice controlled landing. So the Urchenko layout starts at a 9.75 start value. Unfortunately, we did just have a fall over on floor and a beautiful leap from Agatha on beam. So like I was saying, the Urchenko layout has that 9.75 start value. So rather than a 10, it doesn't have the scoring potential, but if you do it clean, it can score pretty well. And that's gotta be strategy too. If you can do a 9.75 vault perfectly, you'd rather have that than struggle on a 10, 10 point value vault. Yep, and that was a beautiful stuck side aerial tuck pull dismount for Agatha. I feel like she's really coming into her own as that lead off position on beam and she just looks more and more confident each time she's up there. We talked about Wayne Mary's situation where they had a shortened year. It's true for these sophomores like Agatha Hondona in West Virginia as well, but they got that season, but really the preseason wasn't what it normally was last year. Yeah, definitely. A 9 7 7 5 to lead off for West Virginia. And we got Abby Pearson up next. 9 8 5, last time out. Nice full turn. Take a look at this skill. Standing front tuck right into that back handspring. Super unique series. I don't know if I've ever seen anyone else compete a standing front tuck. Nice straddle jump into a straddle quarter. Even on her jumps, she is so powerful. Gets so much height. We 
getting ready for this dismount. Back wheel step out, tuck full, stuck landing. That is hopefully gonna be another big score. Great routine for Abby. Back over to the floor, getting ready for her first pass. Round up my handspring, double tuck. Chest was a little bit low, but made that landing work. And another Yurchenko layout on vault for William & Mary. Chloe Campbell vaulting for William & Mary. We're gonna take another look at Abby's routine. It's this, 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 yeah, this dismount. Another super unique skill. You don't really see anyone do a standing layout step out into their dismount, but Abby does it. How much does that help the score when the judges see something they rarely see or yesterday, which is a good score, was actually her lowest of the season on four. Big potential in this event. Getting ready for this first pass. Rachel on beam just did her wolf turn. Back to the floor. We got a back one and a half front layout. Nice control. Rachel with a cat leap for an aerial. Right into that one arm back handspring. Dance right out of it. Switch leap, split jump, beat jump, beautiful toe point. And back over to the floor for the second pass. Big double tuck. Rachel getting ready for that dismount on beam. We got our last vaulter up, Keegan Schaefer. Rachel with a great round up one and a half dismount. Still waiting for Abby Pearson to score after that start value discrepancy. Yeah, I definitely think, I'm hoping they go with the 10 out star value judge. We'll see what happens after they kind of chat about it. Yes, Annalise starting us off on floor. Nine eight five last time. Has four of those this year after a 9.875 to open the year. She has another unique routine. I say it all the time, but there's just so much twisting. It's incredible. This first pass, you're about to see a front handspring two and a half twist. And she makes it look so easy. Mountaineers 11th on the floor in the nation entering the week. First vaulter up now for GW. Nice, Yurchenko fold, just a little hop back. Back to floor, Annalie does a back double twist into a layout step out. And we got William & Mary on the bars. Toe hand into a pack down to the low bar. It did drag her feet, so that will count as a fall. Beautiful leaps on floor for Anna. Switch half into that popa, or switch side into that popa. And unfortunately, another fall on the bar dismount for William and Mary. And Anna Lee going into her final pass. More twisting. Front one and a half, layout step out. Beautiful. She is so consistent on this event. Just kind of take it for granted <laughs> the way she performs, the way she's done that this year. 9775, they won the opening vault for George Washington. Her fourth 9 9 of the year. Again, just <laughs> off that 9925, that is her career best. Just a little bit consistent. Kendra Combs. First pass, front tuck, through to a big double pike with a stuck landing. She sticks that pass more than anyone I know. Like I kind of just expected at this point. Mountaineers already have their season best on the floor with Kendra Combs' score still to come. 49.425. Ooh, that's big. Beautiful leaps from Kendra, so much amplitude. And again, they're loved to the nation already, <laughs> and they just beat their best. Jason said a 197 is possible. 
especially with a floor lineup like this. Getting ready for this last pass. Round up back handspring, double tuck, another cold stuck landing. What a way to anchor that floor lineup. Holy cow. Cold stuck, both passes, beautiful textbook perfect leaps. I don't know what more you could ask for.